Why Hujjat al Islam? Because he is truly the proof of this religion, because he is the man who took the journey. He took the prophetic journey. And not only did he take it, but he came back and he gave us a map to take the same journey. And so he is the proof that this religion works, that if you take the medicine, you will get well. If you take the path, you will arrive. And, and in that way, it's falsifiable because one of the things that Karl Popper argued was that you cannot have a science that's not falsifiable. And what that means is it has to be testable. So if I say, for instance, that uh, you know, water freezes at sea level at 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero Celsius, you have to be able to falsify that in order to assert it as a scientific fact. So you have to be able to test it and see if that is true. It has to be replicable. And in this way, the spiritual path that Imam al-Ghazali has marked is replicable. That's the point. He is the proof. He did it. He took the prophetic. He, he entered into the Quran and he understood. And that's why this entire edifice that he has built is based on the Quran. The whole prophetic sunnah is based on the Quran. All of it is from the Quran. And that's why the Jawahir is such an interesting book, because he's getting to the heart, the, the essences of the Quran. That's why he called it Jawahir. Al-Jawahir wa Durar. And, and to get pearls and diamonds, you have to work. You have to mine them. Allah does not just put them out for you to pick up off the shore. If you want pearls, you have to, you have to train yourself to hold your breath. This is what traditionally the pearl divers did. Now they can go in with uh, modern people. They don't want to do any of the hard work. So they just put in the. But traditionally, those pearl divers, they had to be able to hold their breath four or five minutes. So they would train and then they would dive. And then you have to break the shell to get to the pearl. The rubies, the diamonds, you have to go into the mines. You have to dig them out. You have to do the work. So that's what he's, he's done a lot of the work for us. So he's saying, here it is. Now what you have to do, I'm giving you the jewels and the pearls. You have to adorn yourself with them. That's your challenge. So he is Hujjat al-Islam. And this is, this is what Imam Dhabi said. This is what Tajuddin al-Subki said. And, and so many scholars after. This is his laqab in our ummah. He is Hujjat al-Islam. Abu Hamad, Muhammad, Ibn Muhammad, Ibn Muhammad, Al-Ghazali, Al-Tawsi, radiallahu ta'ala anhu.